any yeast. And let's start from the bottom and can anyone guess how much percent of water does a beer has? Right? An estimation, roughly, any idea? 70%. It's even higher. 95. 95%? Yeah, it's 95% of water. So it's kind of healthy, someone would say. Okay, with me, but someone. Uh, so we have 95% of water, so we need to make sure that the quality and composition of water is the same everywhere. So we meet in every brewery all over around the world. We have the same purification plant, and we use a technique that is called reverse osmosis, so we can get rid of any minerals, impurities, or whatever we don't want in our beer. So after that, we use the barley. The barley is a type of uh, grain. It's this thing here. Maybe you're familiar with this. You can uh, see it later. Uh, so we use the barley, but before we start the brewing process with the barley, we need to soak to melt the barley. So we put the barley in water, we soak it a little bit until the seeds start to sprout. And then we get out the, the seeds and we uh, blow some hot air, so we roast them. So the more the roast, the darker the color. And we need, we need this beautiful golden color in our beer that, is, uh, respond, that, is, that, is, that comes from the barley, the, from the roasting of the barley. Uh, so after that, we put the barley in water and we start to cook it. Uh, until 78 degrees, so the starch is released and is turned into sugars. So we have the sugars. And uh, after that, we use uh, we add the hops. Uh, the hops is a type of flower. It comes from the unfertilized pippin plant. This is a uh, plant. And it's, uh, it seems like this. It doesn't smell nice. You can try this later if you want. It's here. I don't know why, but yeah, it doesn't smell nice. And it's responsible for three things. So firstly, uh, it gives our beer this bitter, typical bitter taste, the bitterness. So we have the sweetness of the barley, and we need something to have a balance, so we add the hops. Uh, except for that, it gives this film foam head that serves as a protective layer to our beers, so it keeps the bubbles inside, the carbon dioxide, and it keeps the beer fresh, so it makes the foam. Uh, and lastly, it contains lupulin, which is a natural preservative, so we don't need to use any artificial additives because we have the lupulin, and the lupulin extends the self life of the beer. So, after the hops, the barley, the water, we come to the yeast. But be careful guys, it's not any kind of yeast, it's the Heineken, any yeast. It's kind of our secret ingredient, and only 11 people around the world knows about this uh, yeast. And what, does, uh, what yeast does is to eat the sugars from the barley and turn them into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So it's quite an important job and it takes about seven days, it's called fermentation process. And after these seven days, uh, we remove any yeast, the used yeast, uh, the six at the bottom, and then we leave the beer for 21 days for the flavors to mature. And then after 28 days in total, we have the perfect Heineken beer in our tables. So this is, in a few words, the process of how we make the perfect